Hey there, After Effects buddies. Here's a nice little animation. Some nice submarines floating through the bubbles, which only has, if I hit the U key, three keyframes for the entire animation. We've got lots of these going along, all in sequence, traveling away there. Okay. So, what I did was, let's just do a new composition. Uh, HDTV, 1920, 20, uh, 20, 25. And here we've got a submarine. Let's, let's do the yellow one. Okay, and I'm just going to scale this down a little. Just hit S and scale it down. All right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start and I'm going to just take it off the screen. I'm going to hit a position keyframe. And then just... Uh, just roll it forward uh, about, let's do it at about two seconds, shall we? Just gonna roll that forward a little bit. And at one second, okay, I'm just gonna move that up. Okay, and maybe just pull these handles to just smooth that out. So get a nice smooth, just up and down animation. Now to make this continue, rather than copy and paste the keyframes, I can just alt click on the stopwatch and put the expression loop or lowercase and out with an uppercase O, open brackets and quotation marks there, parentheses and then I'm going to type in offset. So now what the offset will do is it'll take these key three three keyframes and kind of imagine that you've taken them and carry it on in the same direction. So from where this one left off, it starts from there. So as if that keyframe is now where this was and repeats the action. Okay, so it's just with three keyframes, I could do the whole thing traveling across the screen. Uh, and that just continues on its merry way. So now I'm going to, let's take the, the other submarine here. I shall drop that in on top. I'll just scale that down too a little bit. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hit the P key for position. And I'm gonna use the pick whip here, there it is to connect the two positions together. So now, there they go, they're both linked. So I want this to follow behind, okay? So what I can do is just press double E and that will open the expression, there it is. And I can add on to the end of this, the value at time expression. So I'll put a, a full stop here and then I'll type in value, lowercase, there it is, value, and then an uppercase A at, and an uppercase T for time, at time, and then inside brackets, so I'll put open brackets, I'll put the word time, and then a value. So what I'd like it to do is to be behind by, let's say three seconds. So I'll do time, minus three and close the brackets. Okay, and then what we've got is this one will now be, there we go. Now, if I want more of these, what I'm gonna do is inside this expression here, you can say it says this comp layer, so it's, it's say it's referring to a particular layer, and it's given it the name of the layer in speech marks there inside these brackets. Well, in After Effects, there's the name of the layer, but I could also reference the number of the layer. You see, you've got one and two. So for layer one to reference layer two, I can take that and I can change the text to say. 
So I'll get rid of everything inside the brackets and change it to simply index, all lowercase, index, and then plus one. Okay, so one plus one is two, there you go. So it does the same thing. But the beauty of this is, if I now duplicate this layer, okay, so this, this layer is layer one, and so each layer references the layer beneath it. So instantly we create a sequence. Okay, so we've got a sequence going, and there they are. And if I wanted another one, I can just duplicate that layer, and then we've got another one, and they'll just keep going. And say I want to, maybe I want to swap this for a yellow one. I can select this layer and just take a yellow submarine there. And if I hold down the Alt key as I drag this on top of this layer, it will replace that layer with the same settings. And the yellow submarine's a little bigger, so I can just scale it down again. And there you go. So to finish this off, I added a layer, a new solid, and I made it blue. And yeah, I get some nice kind of sea blue there. as the background layer and then I just put a, a new solid okay and made it white like that put that on top I'll chair I'll go into my effects and presets I'll just type in the word bubble drop that on my white layer and there we go all simple and I say it just the three keyframes so nice and easy you know and if I want to edit that it's very easy I just you know if I just select the keyframes if I move them closer together oops hold down the alt key sorry move them closer together squeeze them together like that and then we can speed up the anime there we go so we can change if I hold down alt and drag them out so because I've only got three keyframes I can change the speed by just changing the keyframes so the more the, the further apart they are the closer we get to the bean together okay so nice and simple and thanks for watching buddies